Hello everyone, I'm Mike Fortune and yes, this is the Hamilton Network. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you are enjoying your day and uh, what is turning out to be a beautiful week. And uh, if you've had the opportunities, I'm sure over the last oh, 150 some odd years, uh, you have taken a Hamilton Street Railway bus. And of course, they've been helping people get across the city for over 150 years as well, as I mentioned. I've taken it many times. It's been a while, but I'm telling you, this year I might get back into it to tell us more uh, about what's going on with the HSR this year in 2024. It's Maureen Cause and Heath. Maureen, nice to see you today. 150 years. Congratulations to the organization and the city and everyone involved in, in keeping the buses running. Thank you very much and thanks for having us so that we could talk about our 150th anniversary. We are one of the oldest transit agencies in Canada. We're actually older than the Toronto Transit Commission, which probably a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't assume. So for us, this is a real source of civic pride. 150 years service to a community is a true milestone. And we're one of the first transit agencies to reach the 150 mark. So we've really uh, dug in and are enjoying planning a year's worth of fun festivities for the community. I can only imagine, of course, we, we take a little bit, stroll back into history, of course, it was it was horse and buggy. Yep. It, and, and it just evolves over time. And now here we are, we're talking about trains and e-buses e and everything. It truly is remarkable how this has been able to, been a labor of love for 150 years for the city. It is truly remarkable and such a rich history starting back in, uh, you know, horse and buggy days and then into sort of streetcars and trolleys. And now we have a mostly compressed national natural gas fleet, which makes us one of the greenest fleets in Canada. Um, on the horizon, of course, decarbonization of the fleet and LRT. So there's no shortage of fascinating and really city shaping transit projects on the horizon for sure. How are we looking to celebrate this year? Well, we have a lot of exciting things planned. The first thing I want to talk about is the uh, HSR artifact exhibit down at the Visitors Information Center at Lister Block. Okay. So the exhibit opened just about a week and a half ago. It's free, it's suitable for all ages, and it will run until the 21st of December. Um, there's really cool memorabilia and artifacts in there, including one of the old... Um, telephone connecting <laughs> stations yes. with the push and sure. we would call it plug and play yes. thinking of a gaming console but back then um, it's how they connected all the incoming phone calls to the HSR yeah. and so that switchboard is there and on display at our kickoff meeting we had the pleasure of having several of our retired switchboard operators attend um, and they walked us through in great detail how to work that machine Isn't so that's cool. one example there's uh, there's uniforms there's system maps there's bus tokens and tickets from years gone by. Advertising. Advertising, sure. yep, and yeah. all the way up to uh, what the LRT will look like when it gets up and running and our HSR redesigned network. So it's a very cool event, certainly worth uh, worth a walk through for families for sure. I, I know uh, I was telling you, I remember when the fare used to be 25 cents back when I was in grade four, five, or six. My parents can go back a little further. Uh, are you going to be adjusting the fares at any point during uh, the 150 years? Well, for, I think for the 150th anniversary, you have to do something special with fares. So we're going to be offering a number of $1.50 fare days. We offered our first on the holiday Monday, which was kind of a great way to kick off a, a, a day in the community where families might be out and about and looking for different or fun things to do. So they could hop on the HSR bus for $1.50. We're going to do that a couple more times throughout the, the rest of the year. And we'll put lots of notification up on our social channels when those days are revealed. They're kind of going to pop up as surprise events. Maureen, I'd like to ask you approximately, um, how many members are part of HSR? We have almost 1,000 employees. We're one of the largest divisions in the city. And um, we're about 10% of the city's workforce. So uh, uh, about 1,000 employees on a daily basis, washing, maintaining, gassing up. And then we got the drivers who yep. are courteous and have to, they have to deal with a lot out there. They sure do, yes. There, there's, yep. there's, there's a lot of things going on and I hear nothing but amazing things. The, the training that the staff goes through. They're doing this, yes it's a, it's a job, it's a career, but it's also a labor of love, welcoming people, getting them to from point A to B. 
We see our drivers take an enormous amount of pride in the civic service that they provide, which is really uh, amazing. And our customers are appreciative of the work that our staff do. They rely on us to get them to school, to work, to shopping, to medical appointments, and just to participate in the community. So it's something our staff say, take very seriously and are very happy to be a part of. I remember, I, I know things have changed quite drastically some 30 odd years ago, but advertising back in the day used to be up in the bus corners and they were those long plastic pieces of material and some great creative advertising. So much of it has changed now. It's, it's online, it's digital. Um, and again, you continue to move with the times. Yep. That's what you have to do, correct? Yes, for sure. And I think you would be pleased to find that those on bus board, those on board bus <laughs> advertisements are actually still there. And one of the cool things that we've done for our 150th anniversary is we've got two of our buses wrapped in corporate colors of yore. And when you go on them, they actually function as rolling museums because what you'll see is up in those place cards where the ads normally are yeah. is all the historical information about the HSR. So do check those buses out when you see them on the roads. And, and what is it now when you, when you you go put your money in. Is it still called a fair Fred or am I really aging myself with that one? A little bit. Okay, um, okay. It, it, it's called a fair box. A fair um, box. Okay. But most people now use a Presto card okay. rather than, than pay cash. But you remember but. the fair Freds. Do you remember when it was called that? I don't remember no, being called. I've always known them as fair boxes oh. and, and certainly through the years they've had uh, different, different designs and, and whatnot. But yeah, yep, yeah. that's kind of a mainstay in the industry for sure. Yeah, no, it, it, it truly is spectacular and exciting to think about. And of course, uh, the, the newly renamed uh, Cook uh, Bus Transportation yep. there on McNabb I think is fantastic too. You, you touched on the trolley cars and, and you mentioned LRT, not to get into a big political thing, but how it will be able to help move our people around, yep. not just today, but 25, 30 years from now. That's, That's right. where this is so important, how they will work together, correct? Absolutely, and Hamilton is poised for significant growth over the next 25 to 30 years. We are a part of the greater Golden Horseshoe in Toronto area, and so where Hamilton is positioned geographically, we're moving people from Niagara all the way through the GT a area. Yeah. So it's really important that we have a transit system that's poised for growth and our redesigned bus network is set up perfectly to align with the function of the LRT and the LRT is going to become a seamless part of our overall transit network. It's important to be able to have you know both parties work together, get together, get on the same page. Before we zip out of here, I'm sure there's lots more going on that we weren't even able to touch upon. People want more information. What's the best way to grab it? Best way is to go to the HSR 150's dedicated webpage on the City of Hamilton's website. Wonderful stuff. Okay. Maureen, thank you so much for all the work My and pleasure. the service that you do for this great city. Continued success. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Hamilton, do not forget to follow us on X at THN on C14. And of course, if you have any upcoming story ideas for uh, some episodes, you can also send us your suggestions to THNCable14.com.